let's work on the arms and down to the hands. So I'm going to go back to move and let's close this down and I'm going to extend the shoulder muscles down a little bit. I want them to be really sort of lanky. And I, so I want this to kind of extend down and kind of distribute the, cause the arm is really, really long. And I want to distribute that in a little bit of a better way. So I'm going to kind of pull this down, pull the chest down a little bit. You can kind of smooth that back into the, the surface a bit. All right, let's go back to our clay buildup. I'm going to add a nice bony elbow to the back here. Kind of like that. Smooth that back out. We can remesh. And then I want our arm muscle to kind of come and connect up right back here. And so I'll kind of just smooth that back into the arm there. You can add a little bit of uh, definition to maybe like a bicep here. So doing that sort of uh, anatomy. Okay, let's kind of get our definition over here for the rest of the arm. Let's smooth this back out. I also want to thin this out a little bit more. So I'm just going to use alt and just kind of eat away a little bit at that. We talked about when we kind of remove the volume from that, from the wrist, I, I really want that to, to kind of be the, thinner point there. So we'll use smooth to kind of bring that back in. And on the base of the hand, we'll add a little bit of mass there. Let's go back to move. And I, I want to create a little bit more shape for the actual hand itself. So we'll kind of bring this out, bring the base of the thumb out a little bit more. Kind of center that line. And the hands, I want them to be a little bit more uh, like talons. So I'm going to make the kind of from this knuckle on, I'm going to make that into a, an actual talon instead of a fleshy finger. And so let's just work on the shape here, kind of avoid the hot dog shape. Now those muscles are sticking out way too far. So I'm going to go ahead and pull those back in. Let's grab our Damien standard and we can start to block in some sort of landmarks here. Kind of where the base of the arm is, where the bicep will connect in. Kind of some lines going across here. Maybe defining the, the elbow there a little bit. This is going to be covered. And so again, I don't want to spend too much time detailing the the musculature because it's going to be covered up but i do want to get kind of the basics there i think we could work on that a little bit too um, but i want to show you how to to separate the pieces out for the talons and so we are working with dynamesh here and the cool thing about this is we can cut parts of this off and remesh it and it'll seal everything up and just create that as a new mesh so let's say i want to start to cut off the uh the fingers at kind of this joint right here. So there are a few ways that we can do this. I'm going to go to the mask brush and I'm going to select the mask pin. And so I'm just going to mask off the areas that we want to become those talons. And we can do one at a time or we can do them all at once. Just do them all at once here. So I'm just going to go right up to that joint, whichever part of the finger that you want to be instead of the, the finger, but like the claw, or the talon. I'm gonna, I don't like this thumb very much. So I'm gonna get a move brush. And move that joint down a little. Okay. Now let's kind of figure out where we want that talon to be. All right, so let's say that those are where we want to, our talons to be. So we're using Dynamesh. So all we're going to do now is go down to our subtool, uh, our subtool palette and go to split. Okay. Right here. And we're just going to split masked points. That's going to pull those claws into its own subtool, which is still a Dynamesh. So now you can see this is a completely separate subtool. If I control drag, you can see that separates out. If I turn this off and go to our 
guy here. You can see there's holes here now. DynaMesh is great because it fills all those holes. So let's go ahead and remesh this. And now those are all filled. We can go in here and smooth that out. We've got our claws here. And let's smooth those. We've got move here. And so now we can start to pull those up into the finger, but now we can treat them differently the way that we sculpt the hardness of the edges and, and that sort of thing. And we can shape the shape it into more of a sharp claw shape without affecting the fingers. Okay, so just kind of pull it up into the hand surface. I want to work on the hand a little bit more before we jump out of here. So let's go to clay buildup. And I just want to create a little bit more structure. So I'm going to give, our, give us a little bit more structure with some knuckles and tendons here coming to the hand, coming out here. You can kind of pull this in a little bit, remesh, same thing out here. Create a little bit of flow between the thumb and the rest of the hand. We give our wrist a little bit more of the, the bony structure there. Let's go ahead and get our Damien standard brush and we can start to drop in some lines here across the hand. Again, this is a, just our base, so we don't want to go too crazy with this part. Coming across the wrist a little bit. Anywhere where you've got a lot of flesh that's going to be moving, bending, and scrunching together. Okay, kind of come in here and just finesse this a little bit. Just to get the basic structure in there. And remesh. All right, so something like that. Okay, doesn't have to be exact, but the key thing is you just want to add a little bit more shape to the arm. Get rid of the kind of sausage hot dog kind of look add a little bit of detail to the hand and then separate out the claws. You don't have to add too much detail to those right now. But the next thing that we're going to do is kind of do the same process, but on the legs. So we've got kind of a little bit more detail going on on the upper body. We need to move down to the legs. So we'll do that next.